one would think it would favor Sting, but then again, they're so evenly matched, it's a tough call. And they're both in great physical condition. Something when the referee looks in. Chad holding on, could Bulldog him, and he does. Yes, sir, the excellence of execution. We're seeing it Jam! in vivid display here tonight. Why aren't you working, man? It's daytime! Yo, oh, hey. Silver so Ladder Wolf. I'm just watching, you know. Just watching Brady. And daring him to stand up, Billy Silverman. But Jam! Billy Silverman saw it, he caught it. You can't just watch wrestling, man. You gotta work. Relax, yo. You know I'm always working. Look at this fresh. Felix 100 canvas. He is a dominating force over Sting. All right, all right. That's pretty fresh. You got more? Yes. God, I'm always working, you know? Here's another beautiful canvas. It's a ghost with sunglasses. Jam. Are these reruns? Maybe. I'm Canadian famous now. I can take the time to, you know, work on my sketches, watch a little wrestling. Get off my back. King famous. Look at these other reruns right here. They're so beautiful. Do I even need to make more? I don't know. Who am I kidding? I ain't about to stop. Here's a new canvas that I'm working on. So when it comes to trying to be the best, uh, I think there's nothing wrong with that. I think everyone should strive to be the best. And that could mean the best that, that they can be and it's also a good sense of competition. Trying to be the best doesn't put anyone else down. It only uplifts the entire scene. You need to have people who want to be the best. And if you're surrounded by people who want to be the best, then they'll push and they'll drive you. I'm incredibly passionate about visual arts. I've been making and drawing things for as long as I can remember. And we're talking like four years old and, and probably younger. And I found that passion and I'm holding it and I've created a life around it. And I'm incredibly grateful for that. And I want to be the best. I wake up every morning and I keep that in mind. That I want to be the absolute best I can be and if there's anyone else out there that can push me and give me that sense of competition then I love it I encourage it I say bring it on I need that fuel for that fire but I'm my biggest competition in the sense that I'm always the one that that tells myself to, to push it, to make more. I'm always thinking of a new drawing, sketching it out, and ultimately trying to paint it out and realize it and manifest it. Any advice that I can give to anyone old or young or, or my peers is you just have to keep at something. There is no accomplishment that you wake up the next day and you've made it. Once you've done something, that just means you need to set the bar even higher because you'll wake up feeling the exact same the next day after accomplishing a big task. And you don't wanna lead that to some sort of depression or feeling that you've done it all and there's nothing left to do. You have to manifest something new to do and you have to strive for that. You have to wake up every morning and chip away at your dreams. And over the course of the days, the weeks, the months, and the years, you'll realize that 
you've accomplished amazing things. It's always about doing the next right thing. Ask yourself, what's the smallest, stupidest step that I can do right now that brings me closer to my dream? And do it. Attack it. And go for it. Believe in yourself. And ultimately, there's nothing that you can't accomplish. I hope you like today's canvas. And keep in mind, you gotta believe in yourself. And keep on working at it. There's nothing you can't accomplish. There's nothing you can't do. Peace, y'all. All right, happy birthday, man. Seven years old. Hey, whoa! I hope you enjoy that painting. Ah! I gotta get out of here. Help! Help! You know what? I wonder what I wonder what Brett thinks of my new canvas. Now, let me give him a call. Let me call him right quick. Oh, hey, man. Hey. I'm just calling you on my on my private prestigious private line cuz uh cause it, Yeah, yeah, my mom's doing good. My mom's doing good. Listen, uh I just want to know if you saw that new canvas and I wanted to know what you thought of it, you know? Hey, this is Brett the Hitman Hart, and I got a very special shout out going out to Germ D. And he's my favorite artist in all of Montreal. It's a very special shout out going out to you. I just want to say, "Wow, Germ. When it comes to painting on a canvas, you are, without a doubt, the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Don't ever change. Keep on being the man that you are. And just know that everybody loves you, and everyone thinks you're the excellence of execution, especially when it comes to painting in Montreal. Oh. Oh, y'all didn't think I was clean and famous like that, huh? Shit. Y'all doubted me, man. Y'all doubted me. What? Nah, I'm still here, man. I'm still here.